Hey, YouTube. <laughs> I need to come up with a better greeting. Uh, it's getting old. So, um, this is a video that I mentioned I was going to make. I'm going to try and keep it short. It, uh, it's unlikely to happen, but I will try. It's been a um, solid month since my hernia repair. Uh, belly feels great. Uh, not quite right in the head at the moment. I've uh, been having some uh, just motivation issues, I guess. I don't know. Just really having a hard time getting back into the swing of things. But uh, anyway, I did promise that I would make a video to update everybody on where and why, what happened. So uh, over a year ago, I mean, it was so coming up on two years ago, January, we, so what year? 20, God, I don't even know. So, so, some January, some, some time back, I was going to do a video a day, and we started it, and we were doing it, and it was going well, and then um, things happened, and uh, kind of didn't have a whole lot of hope that it was going to go you know, I didn't, I was, well, I was optimistic at the beginning, and it was going really good, and, uh, I don't know, it was about April or May or June, I don't know, at some point somewhere in there, the videos crashed, uh, I just couldn't keep up. The, uh, and basically what I'm going to do is, we're going to discuss what you've missed, because things have been going on, I just haven't been recording them. And I'm going to discuss one of the main, a couple of the main reasons why uh, the videos stalled out. First and foremost, um, my computer died. Uh, I have a, uh, I, we have, we have four PCs in this house. There's, I got three students and then mine, and mine was. The fancy one, and uh, the its primary hard drive just quit hard driving. It just dropped something. I got a mess in here, as always. Nothing new. Anyway, the hard drive died, and try as I might, I just... Well, that was my phone. Let's try that again. So basically the hard drive on my computer that I did all that I did all my editing on, it just died. It just quit running. Um, and I just didn't have a lot of I don't know, motivation, I guess, to repair it for a long time, so I just kind of let it just be dead and I eventually got a uh, new SSD for it, and I was able to recover most of the f important things off of that drive. Really wasn't a lot of important stuff on that drive, but I had to reinstall the Windows, you know, I had to do this, and you know, typical computer malarkey. So anyway, that's the big, a big reason. Uh, another big reason is uh, if you go back and look through my videos, what you'll note is there's a lot of them that happen. I, I realized this fairly recently, actually. A lot of my videos, they happen uh, during the winter. <laughs> during the summer months here, uh, I don't like the heat. I don't handle it real well. And I live in an area where it's, um, it's not uncommon to have, you know, four, five, six weeks straight of over 100 degrees uh, for the highs. Yeah, I mean, it's it's... Uh, so what I notice is I tend to, when it starts getting hot out, I start to shut down. Uh, I kind of go into hiding. Uh, I just don't come out. I just don't do anything. I tried at the beginning of when I was doing the videos, I actually put a swamp cooler, evaporative cooler on the roof of the garage. Real nice one. At least it was at one point, but it needs pads. And they're really expensive. It's a breeze air. It's an older model. I don't even know if the company still exists. They, they may, I don't know, but to get the pads, I mean, it's it's several hundred dollars, and it's like, I just can't invest it for the garage. It's also expensive to run a uh, swamp cooler, uh, you know, just constantly. It, it runs my 
PG&E bill really high. So I came out, I did projects, things I was, I was getting paid for, I'd run the cooler. Didn't really do a whole lot, it helped, but you know, ultimately it was just hot. That was another thing. Um, so what did we miss though? I mean, you're probably interested in what, what happened in that time period. So let's see if I can fix this camera in such a way we can walk around and not hit everything. All right, so one of the things we got, I picked up this uh, horizontal mill. It's got, I'm using the, I'm abusing it right now. We've got trash you know, stuff piled on it from where I was working. This is a horizontal mill. It's a little big, baby one, though. Um, it's a Kemp Smith number one. Uh, so basically, you know, the, the table here, it moves back and forth, in and out, up and down, and then this is a, uh, this is where we put our different types of cutters and you can mill and shape metal. I will probably go over this in a lot more depth some other day. Uh, I just want to kind of cover, like I said, this video is, I'm, I'm going to try and keep this video short and quick and sweet, and mostly what I'm interested in is just hitting the highlights. Uh, another thing we picked up, we got another lathe. Now, again, this lathe's being abused too. I got Jeep parts piled on it, and we'll cover that in a moment. But this is a Klausing, uh, let's see, 13 by 36 engine lathe. Um, it's a really nice little lathe. We got it for pretty much scrap, though, and there's reasons. Um, we've got some repairs to do to this. The only thing I can find that's truly broken is there's a gear missing. And then the lever down here for engaging and disengaging uh, said missing gear is uh, missing. There's a few other little odds and ends that need to happen, but we're going to have to... That gear is an oddball, and what I'm planning or hoping to do is perhaps build some tooling and we'll build a new gear. Uh, if not, I'll see if I can order one and modify it to work with this. But it's an odd tooth. I don't remember. It's like 61 or 63 tooth or some weird, weird thing. And then it's also, um, it's more like a, a, it's not, if you can see the way it's cut, it, they're not straight, straight teeth. So I think we're going to have to cut our own gear. So those are two of the big things that have happened in the garage itself. Um, I still need to run power to them. The, 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 the mill and the lathe are both supposed to be three-phase. Um, somebody converted the mill to a single phase. It's got a little, I think it's a one and a half or two horse or something single phase motor. And I actually have it. It'll start up. I can run it. Um, and I think I even have, I ran some SL cord over to a plug and kind of, you know, cobbled it together so it'll run. The other one, the the lathe is three phase. We have three phase at the house, but I don't have it in the garage. So that's one of the, that's a kind of a major project that I want to get done this winter is get three phase. And because of the way the garage sets on the property and where the power the service entrance is, I am probably going to have to rip out part of the patio and go underground. And, and it's you know fun. Um, really, a, a, probably one of the biggest things that, as, uh, that I really should have recorded a lot more of and didn't record any of was we picked up a 1974 CJ5 Jeep. Um, I will go, I will have a full video dedicated to this vehicle. I really will. Um, it looks better than it really is. Uh, somebody um, did a, a conversion on it and the best I can tell is they put a they put the drivetrain from a, I think a 96 Cherokee in it. Um, I don't know for certain but the when we bought it I made a lot of bad decisions. I probably should not have bought it. But the Jenny, the wife, she wanted a Jeep. She's wanted a Jeep for a long, long time. And so, you know, 
baby gets what baby wants. So anyway, um, oh, <laughs> here's another little thing. So for, almost forgot about this. This is a, a power head for the uh, that somebody. It came. I got it with the uh, horizontal mill. It um, yeah. Somebody was going to use it. Somebody was going to use it to uh, make it a uh, vertical mill. Uh, I don't know that I will use it. Um, I actually was thinking, because there was actually an attachment, you could get an attachment for these, I think. I've seen something. I don't know if it's true or I imagined it, but um, I think we might be able to rig up a deal to kind of make a vertical mill that's driven off of the um, taper on horizontal mill and uh, I might, might play with that idea. I don't know. But, uh, oh my goodness. It's really all there was uh, as far as of interest. I mean, I had some projects that we did, a lot of some big projects. I did a big shade structure thing for a client. I did more planters for a client. I currently have some fountains I'm supposed to be building for a client. Uh, the electrical contractors thing, yes, I did get my license. Have I used it? Not really. Uh, most of my clients, uh, they don't seem to care. Uh, they still want me to weld for them, and I am at a point now where I've actually turned down work because I just I can't. Um, too crippled up to do it, I think. Um, I think, anyway. I'm, it's, it'd be one thing if I had the facilities. Like, if I had actual, like, lifting and, or some help or something like that, it wouldn't be so bad. But I did apply for some jobs. Um, same result as I always get. That should bring you up to date on the where I've been, what happened, why I wasn't recording. It wasn't a real big, uh, exciting story. It was just the hard drive crashed, uh, just died on my uh, computer. It got hot, and uh, yeah. So hopefully I'll try to post some images of some of the projects that I've done uh, over the video so you got something to look at other than just my ugly face. And uh, next time, next video, I'll either, I might either feature like the Jeep or the Ranchero and kind of go over what we've done. I, I really didn't do much on the Ranchero, so I don't think that's something I'm going to bring up. But, well, actually, I did do a lot on the Ranchero. I'll either bring you up to speed on the Ranchero, the Jeep, or I actually uh, picked up a little bit of a hobby, and that's... Uh, Coleman Lanterns. So, till next time. Bye.